Police tape still up near the southeast corner of Central Park. Vancouver police among the many agencies now searching the Burnaby crime scene. The body of 13-year-old Marissa Shen found in the park early Wednesday. Classmates at Mosscrop Secondary stunned by her senseless death. I was actually somewhere else and my mom called me and she was like, oh, somebody died at Central Park. I'm like, oh, that's bad. And I check online, it's her. I'm like, oh my gosh. Tell yeah. me about her. Uh, she's very quiet. This morning, a development. Police narrowing the timeline. They now believe Shen was at home until dinner time Tuesday, not 1 p.m. as reported earlier. At 5, she talked to someone on the phone. She wasn't in distress. We don't know if she was alone. At 6, she left her home near Central Park. Fast forward to 11.30 Tuesday night when Shen's family reported her missing. Tragically, her body was found at 1.10 Wednesday morning. I know many of you may be wondering if your children are safe. Uh, all I can tell you at this time is that I have full confidence in IHIT's ability to investigate the circumstances surrounding Ms. Shen's death. It is early in the investigation and an autopsy is required to determine the cause of death for Ms. Shen. Until we confirm more facts in this case, the risk to the public, if any, is unknown. But we ask that they remain vigilant. Central Park is huge, busy year-round with families and athletes. There has been some violence here in the past, but overall it was considered safe. Neighbors rattled by the horrible crime. Upsetting because she's she's only 13. It's this is crazy. Very, very, very uh, freaky. I'm pretty shocked. <laughs> you know, it's so close to home because I live right here. Investigators asking anyone who saw Shen between 6 p.m. Tuesday and 1 a.m. Wednesday to call IHIT or Crime Stoppers. Jordan Armstrong, Global News.